And as we look forward, the word continues, let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. I want to challenge you with a word this evening. When did you last consider the power of your personal example and influence within the fellowship where you belong? I remind you that every believer's contribution is needed. Every Christian's gifts required for the health, the effectiveness of the body. In a world that's dying through lack of hope, lack of love, where communities are fragmented, our example and influence need to be focused, spurring one another on toward love and good deeds. By the grace of God, let us consider it personally, discuss it together, get it on the agendas, intentionally seek to be more loving, in ways that lead to more good deeds within the community of believers and within the community at large. As we look forward, let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. What a beautiful practical word. It speaks of bewaring, beware of the compromise of the convenient. That's to say, offering to God on the basis of what personally suits our agenda. I urge you on the authority of this word, wherever you belong, to whatever church or denomination, don't ever stay away from worship on the basis that you didn't get what you wanted or needed out of the meeting. As we look forward, let's underline the truth that when we come together to worship God, we also go to give, to contribute. You attend because you're part of the fellowship. Your presence, your contribution is strategic. You are focal. You are pivotal. You are needed where God has placed you. Attend worship with a sense of expectation, having prayed and personally prepared. Where you belong, let worship for you be the place of blessing. And as we look forward, the word says, let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Oh, godly men and women, Christian folks here this evening, let's agree together that destructive criticism is always negative and there is no place for it in a Christian fellowship. Of course, by all means, speak openly and honestly. As Christians, we should be secure and sensitive enough to do this together. Speak well of one another. Be genuine, generous, gracious in your speaking to and about one another. Understand and agree with God tonight and with one another. We do need each other. We are interdependent. And hear it from the Lord. As we look into the future, hear it as never before understood. Encouragement from you is a powerful weapon. As we look into the future, recognize also the context. The day is approaching. Praise Him. Jesus is coming again in power and in glory. Let this truth concentrate the mind and add an urgency and an intensity to our mission. The inevitability of one day standing before him, giving account for our stewardship of the good news, is the context within which we should be looking forward. Hallelujah. God is with us. What God has done, he 
still can do. We move forward confidently under Him and together. We remain alert, faithful, obedient, as with renewed vision and faith, we move into new opportunities for mission and see God for this high core open new doors for service. Lord, keep us faithful. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.